Good morning, New Eden. Today is April 28th. 2024. Can you fucking believe that, man? We're in the future. Like, yesterday, the last yeah. time, it's been like a future future since we've been here. So I'm your host, Frozen Fallout, and my co-host today is Nightflyer. How's it going? Ah, uh, things are going great. I am just sitting here watching um, the uh, war zone turn into our favor. So, Oh, yeah. yeah absolutely. No, we're good, man. 100%. And we also have the epic and badass motherfucking Samson. How's it going, man? How's Samson land? Wow. These intros just get more wild as we go. <laughs> good morning, New Eden. Things are doing good. I got the rock by my side here. So, um, you know, you, you can't go wrong, really. Um, and like, like Nightflyer said, things are turning into our favor. The Galente Militia is on top, man. We have the most systems we have ever had. It was, It's the greatest... The, the greatest faction, the best, huge. Huge, huge. So, no, I mean, well, they're falling huge. into our trap, right? Huge. I mean, like, oh, yeah. bringing them to Hades, like, and keeping the front lines on That's the Hades is, is huge, I actually. live next door. Um, yeah, I, I actually think that this is um, good for me. Um, you know, one of the things that actually is interesting is that there isn't a reward for owning more systems. In fact, there's a little bit of a minus um, which is that you have the insurgencies that are more likely to show up in your space, and if you don't win them, then that system becomes uncontested. And anybody can come in and shoot the, the iHub to try and take it. So, at this point in time, we've fallen back to AD Leaves. It has been a rough um, kind of uh, retreat that we've had, so... We have lost Pliette, we have lost uh, AD Leaves, we've also lost... Um, Indrigal? I think using the wrong word, Frozen. I mean, we've we've stretched. <laughs> we have been reached... given an opportunity to reliberate all of those systems for democracy. Well yeah, put. We've, well put. We've we've and tactically. I will be drinking my liberty, which is oh. Maker's Mark. Yeah, tactically surrendered them. I agree with that, yeah. Nightflyer. Like we we tactically we, surrendered. We've, uh, we we've moved them into the the pincer area where we can just yeah. flood out of Old Man Star. We can still flood out of Hadeles, um, Yavangir and Ashi and uh, Mirathand and Dodixi. Um, you know the the flood of uh, freedom is is going to continue to uh, pour in from these angles which will never stop because old man star and hadeles are forever permanent uh frontline systems if the enemy holds them no matter what they do they can't stop it from being a frontline system this is where we want to fucking fight fuck tama right fuck tama tama's done it's over it's tama's over, guys. Now. it's <clears throat> over i'm gonna drop a fleet of dreads on these it's squids over. Nobody gives a fuck about Tama because Tama's a bitch town. Okay, you know what the real place is. I'm it I'm sorry, Frozen. You guys, you, die you keep talking less. about a system or something, and I can't hear it every time you say it something. I out. think it starts with a T. What what was it again? Terma, Terma, Tuma. What? Tumor. I've never heard of that system Tumor. before. No, tu Oh, what is it? Fuck, we forgot. Maybe we should that. ask Mr. Monopoly. Uh. I think he knows. He does have a good little. Uh, I miss that guy. He should bring his his show over to Hades. That's my. He should be back on our show. To we should get him back on our show. I'm pretty sure we've had him, if if not this podcast, and we've definitely had him on Golden Age Stories when I was doing the. Uh, I don't know what that is. Or so I think should... <laughs> a couple of podcasts in the past. Well, this is the only show that counts, Frozen. Oh what? I don't know what you're talking about. I don't even know what show we're on right now. Tama even... is the uh, the system our fathers fought in, I think. Who? So, mm. yeah, so uh, that's, the, I just that's heard the old Mernin man's war. is the system. <laughs> I don't Whatever. We'll, we'll call it the uh, the Northeast. The no, Northeast. Tama, Tama died a long time ago, and it was it was, it was was sad and <clears throat> snuff, and, um, it, you know, yeah. But it, we've it given happened. up, you know. We've given up these uh, five or six systems, and uh, I think we're, 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 yeah, tactically, because we are lulling the Kildari into a sense of false hope. So, they, yes. uh, they're falling right into our trap. If, if there is one thing that I love to do, it is that. 
it has been one of my PvP strategies strategies since I was a, a wee lad playing Warcraft 2. Yes. And anytime I could lull somebody into a sense of, of security and then just yeah. wipe the floor with them. I mean, that's what we're going to do. That, that, okay. that's, that's what Galente is, is poised to do. You know, I so I think that there's something though that uh, is unfortunate in all of this is like I was uh, reading on Reddit kind of re recently about how I believe that uh, the the Keldari have PCP in their back pocket. That's what I'm hearing. Like, look at their LP. Oh, that's... Look at their their location. Is that why those blue know? canary fuckers are all Keldari now? Yeah, no, man. Like exactly, oh, yeah. uh, paid yeah, off sure. by CCP directly for Plex, from what I hear. Oh, 100%. Hmm. I mean, they, uh, CCP is, had, they don't even hide the fact that they hate Galenti and support Kildari. Like, uh, just look at the last, uh, that upwell structure development that they did. Where'd they put that? They put that, you know, into, over by Dodixie or in the Galenti space? No, they did not, did they? They put it out in Kildari space. So now I have to fly into Kildari space to drop off supplies so that they can build this upwell structure system thing, um, which is PI. We called that, like, yeah, you know, two weeks ago. Yeah. So. Yeah. That... So. Yeah. So again, just another example the... of how CCP loves the Keltari and hates uh, the Glente. But even with the gods of this universe against us, I think we do pretty fucking well, man. Like, I mean, we we've lured them into the trap that we need. We've, you know, we're we're gonna like as a as as a democracy and freedom proves that we can kill God. That's yeah. that's that's <laughs> what we're moving towards, you know. We got we've well, got this ability to really bring the people together, and I think that this is it. This is this is where you need to be right now. On the screen right now, we have right underneath Samson is hey hey die less, you know. It's hey die <laughs> less. It's not hey dealies. It's hey you motherfucker, <laughs> stop fucking dying, and hey die less. You know, just stop, stop fucking with this. And a little bit it's hard. There's a delay. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so, That's right. You know, I think that we need to bring everybody out. We need to start running some fleets. And um, one of the things that I've noticed is that there is a lack of uh, fleets lately um, on the, the the Galente side. So this is a call to arms to everybody in the. Uh, Galente, I'm going to be going strong, I think, for the next week. We've got um, Eve Online, um, Eve Madtown, Madison, Wisconsin. May the 4th be with us. And next weekend. Next weekend. Next weekend. So we're going to be heading out to that. Um, All are invited. Out. All you live are there, everybody. dude. Yeah, we're going to go to <laughs> to IO Arcade Bar. You know, it's a hot skip in the I love IO. I can't wait to be back there. It's it's my favorite barcade I've ever been to in my entire life, and I can say that with confidence. Um, and uh, they last time, right. yeah, they, 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 they did it right. Yeah, and, and that, that's I've, I've seen a lot of stuff like that. But like, and in, in, in like you're in the Midwest, but like back east, I remember going to a. Um, a dance it wasn't not just a dance hall but it was like a bar with like dance halls and everything on the floors it, and it used to be a prison like a <laughs> <laughs> in pennsylvania dude that place was awesome they had they had they, yeah so like i i it, you know i don't know man it, i just like the old is, school is like they don't anomaly. put in like the crazy new like it's just all new cry like take your money games for like tickets no and stuff, like, not at all clusters, even even the newer games aren't take stuff. your money games no, no it's it's just i mean it is take your money games because it's old school take your money game like it's it's the you know like drop in yeah two quarters back when we you know if you were they good, deserved you could it last hours on this but because you suck you're gonna take I can't believe they got rid of Soul Caliber, man. I was I was looking forward to kicking your ass again. We do this have motherfucker Capcom jumps in versus X Men. So. I mean that's okay, but uh, you know, Soul Caliber was my jam. Soul Caliber and, was and, 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 and Frozen like had the to audacity you. to interrupt me when I was fighting the last I boss. Tried. So I had I had to wreck his face just so I could fight he the just last boss. Me in the face, like <laughs> yeah, like you. next. The first time we played it, I was being nice, and you were. He goes, "I'm gonna put a quarter in while he's fighting the last boss." Anyways, IO Bar is amazing. 
they have great food uh and they have vegan options which is awesome uh for me and um great booze and, yeah, just, and just the app but a good pizza but yes i mean everybody loves pizza but like um and they have regular pizza too right it's not just vegan. yeah regular pizza yeah, yeah. But, you know like uh pepperoni and, and, and the vegan like, pizza is if like the like vegan free, pizza is good then the regular pizza is going to be amazing right yeah. i just i can't yes. i can't eat regular pizza it will literally kill me hey, that's but true. um <laughs> like uh this is why they have uh, options but the atmosphere and, and 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 just like the welcoming atmosphere and like it just it just feels so comfortable safe i don't know i don't know how to explain it but i'm well, I'm, I'm i kind from, of like I'm will explain cities. it by that we when we leave our beers like we, unattended we, leave a we beer go unattended out back. it's it's not you know <laughs> it's just, it, it's just, i mean yeah there is a possibility of like there's always possibilities right you know but we just yeah in the midwest we don't think about that as much like you know that's not the the interaction that we customly come up you know or, or uh, uh immediately like standardly come across is just whatever people are just trying to drink the booze play some video games and hang out like there's and they have like, an amazing breaking out an amazing pinball set up to an amazing yeah. uh there's so some really I was good pinball. playing some pinball and i think we've got uh the big lebowski has has a uh, game there in honor of all the time that we spent at the Lebowski's. Uh, <laughs> the Lebowski, and, yeah, uh, in yeah, I'm, I'm, I, wh- where I was stripper dancing for a bunch of goons yeah. in Iceland. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was a that was a thing that happened, and that's that's very, you know what we should start a Patreon. We have those videos. I think your wife we took do. those videos. We, we should do. we would put that we could put that up there. You know, that was before I did the full beard. I just had the chops. Um, but yeah, yeah, that was a. Uh, that was a good time. People were buying me drinks left and right. I had I was rolling twenties, bro, all night. Absolutely. Bard, bard success. <laughs> bard success. Bard performance uh, success. Yeah, like so. We we have um, the the Big Lebowski uh, pinball. I want to maybe do a tournament for that. Um, I want to mm-hmm. do uh, you know for like highest score. So we just you know this is the you know slotted time that i you know we have an observer that watches and records down who got the highest score out of this you know like you know hopefully you know i think we've got like probably like 15 easy going to be coming yeah that's enough that's enough for uh a little tournament yeah and so like if if we can get like five ten of those people to like you know jump on and see if they can uh we I know Alec some... will be down. We, 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 Alec was competitive on the Queen, uh, Killer, Killer Queen. Be, uh, Killer Queen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. That's another tournament that we're going to have. Um, I'm thinking Deadpool is another really good one for Deadpool, um, um, Pinball. That's a really good one. Um, then we have Capcom. Make sure to wear your brown pants. Oh, yeah. Um, we have Capcom versus uh, Marvel, which is really good. Uh, um, Capcom versus Marvel Two, which is a really good fighter game that we can. Does use Capcom to fight versus up. Marvel Two have Deadpool? It. Mm, I don't. I have not I, selected. Okay. I, Deadpool I could back. Up, I could back up with Wolverine if I don't have Deadpool. Wolverine is they're... definitely there. Definitely. Yeah, there. Wolverine's got Magneto. Got Hulk. Because if I if I if I do Street Fighter, Vega is my jam. Ooh, Vega is a good one. Vega is a really good one. Um, I remember when I played Soul Calibur. It was Vol Volio. <laughs> so there's um there's that. Then there's also uh, Stranger Things Pinball is another mm-hmm. good one. Um, so we have you know, all like Killer so Queen. Um, we'd have Capcom versus x-men we'd have um uh, lebowski's we'd have deadpool also godzilla and uh stranger things oh, and godzilla. godzilla godzilla is a really good uh pinball game that's yeah that fun. one's fun that is um, a lot of fun and so i'm thinking all of these i would probably be focusing in on like you know skins that are worth like a billion isk or you know a couple hundred worth of plex that we'll be giving out for um uh, how about i donate some i have some uh um doctor who titan skins i could donate for that Ooh, 
yeah, we'll take a look at uh, at that. I think that that that's one of the things this week that we're gonna like kind of dole out and kind of decide on maybe what a super. the prizes are gonna be. Um, but it'll be around, you know, a billion isk or so worth of shit that I think that we're gonna give out for each one of these kind of tournaments. Maybe a little mm. bit. Well, less, the, ti the Titan skins more. and the super skins are more than a billion, I think. But yeah, so we'll see. Mm -hmm. Might have some really special kind of uh, things that we'll put out there for you guys. Um, the other uh, activity that we're definitely going to be doing is, um, you know, there might be a poker tournament that's being talked about. Um, poker? When the hell is that going to happen? That that might be like Friday or Sunday. We talking five card draw Texas Hold'em? What are we talking I, about? I am down for Texas Hold'em. Like I am a okay. Texas Hold'em bitch. Uh, You're a Texas you know. Hold'em bitch. Okay. Yeah, I, I see what you. I, I love see what the you. good old Texas because I what like are we the playing variety for? What that are the it stakes? Adds. So <laughs> that's another thing that so that goes into the realm of gambling, um, and I don't think Does we can now? do anything for for Eve Online that would be against the uh, the rules to uh, a gambling. Uh, tournament for anything, um, so I think that that just kind of so comes the down back to room at your house. I'm in, I'm in the I'm in thinking, the basement, you know, because I from my understanding of like how you know low stakes type type kind of things that it still be legal for us to do like a five or ten dollar tournament, you know, where you just okay put five bucks down, ten bucks down, and, and if enough wins. people come in, you win a hundred bucks. Yeah, exactly. So. Um, or, you know, first, second, third place, you know, if we have... Like, I grew up on people. Costa Rican poker, so y'all better watch out. I've, um, <laughs> I've actually won a few things for Texas Hold'em. I love that game. I, uh, just, you know, it's all about, like, knowing what's on the board, what's been played, what's going on, you know, and, like... Sounds like you're counting cards. Oh, not exactly counting because I can't because I'm not that smart. But I'm like, you know, it it it, it brought it's into only the fifty two in a deck, room. sir. Oh my god, my brain sucks. Dude. What are you talking? I mean, like, I'm I'm surprised I have a podcast called the Federation Frontline Report, and then I brought you two epic motherfuckers into this uh, news to humanity. us. We're on a podcast. Wait, maybe it's possible. <laughs> Night Flyers come a long way, right? This is your first hosting on a podcast. Am I am I correct or am I or school me? What's the question? <laughs> <laughs> I think that answered the question. Wait, what? Who am I? No, no, no. no I, 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 you, you've come a long way. Even have you ever hosted a podcast before? Oh no. Uh uh. Yeah. No, dude. You, uh, you're doing great. So, yeah. Since, I mean, I've been on other podcast been on declarations war i've been on inn um you've been on a, a few yeah so yeah yeah, the, yeah. The qualification. But I, well i think yeah federation for alliance kind of the cattle shit's done it like I said i i met uh frozen in person and again just like on meetups like nobody talks about eve online so <laughs> we talked about yeah, everything true. else Very so true. when i saw his you know podcast we actually met in space and fleet and i was just getting to faction warfare because you know again i met him at uh at a meet and he was talking about faction warfare and i'm like oh i could probably get into that and then we're like hey well you know would you be interested in doing an interview as a, a new person coming into the thing and answering some of the, my questions and stuff and i don't know we just kind of hit it hit it off and he's like hey why don't you come back and i'm like now now i won't leave so <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now you can't get yeah, rid we of try, me we, we've tried to get rid of you but it's not happening yeah, you know, like we, what? you know, tried to be like you have to be on the podcast to be in the corporation. And it's like I'm in. <laughs> well, some of you might know I'm a bit older than these guys too, so I'm actually not much. Not older. much. Uh, Hold on. Uh, okay, uh, so I turned forty <laughs> it, on May 10th. How how old are you? We just opening this up here. Okay, All but right, you're well, the youngest, Frozen. Yeah, my birthday is May 28th, and I will be 52. You're so, 10 years older than me. Wow, yeah, you 10 seem years. 10 so, years younger than what you are. I would right? have pegged yeah. 42. How did well, I not know this? 
Literally. Well, because I usually lie about my age. Uh, oh. When I'm in bars and stuff, <laughs> talking to girls, I always tell girls I'm in, I'm 62. So, so it's seriously, wow. I always tell girls yeah, yeah, you're yeah. 10 years wow. older than you are yeah, because then they look at you and they're like, 52. wow, you're 60? You're 60. You look awesome for 60. For yeah, 50, I was going to be like, which guy's got but... genetics? <laughs> <laughs> right? so, I, I, just, I just bought liquor at a Walmart the other day. And um, when I'm at Target, they card you no matter what, right? But I was at a Walmart, and literally on the little digital readout, it says, does customer look over 40? And then it just said yes, and I was like, <laughs> I mean, there's you a lot of gray. Your, you are getting the gray in the beard. There's you, a lot of gray. You have this, You're like, this special gray, though. Is this, is this, is this, is that, is that faked? Nope. You're faking it, aren't you? you no, got... this is, this is 110% natural you. and literally this giant mustache just grows like this i've never like it makes i've you never so sexy <laughs> not, <laughs> not since i was a kid not since i was a teenager have i dyed any hair like I, I the last time i dyed my hair was when i was like not a teenager i think i was 20 and my sister was dyeing my hair in the living room downstairs and my mom walked down and and i i so when i was born to give you an idea my hair is very brown it's it's just very dark brown Okay, and very curly, uh, very curly. Um, but when I was born, I was blonde. And so, when when my mom came down the stairs and saw my sister dyeing my hair black because I was a goth, <laughs> she was pissed. She was. she was pissed. But I am Latino, so she was very angry at my sister, not me. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> so Nightfire, you are you are Gen X, then, right? Yeah, you're like yeah. South. You're not even Nintendo era. You're, well, I'm, you're I'm actually like right like now. Gen so X. Gen X. Well, I I, like I actually owned an Atari twenty six hundred. So, so doesn't Gen X go to like I had an original Nintendo? An At what age? Uh, don't worry. Um, I was probably younger. Uh, ten or twelve. Oh, really? 12. Okay, so you yeah. you actually got into the, like the tech age kind. Of, so you're almost like a Nintendo uh generation. Yeah, you familiar yeah. with that? Yeah, that I, did, generation? I didn't have so, one, but I actually so, played a Pong. So my friend Keith actually nice. had a Pong system. So I actually played one of those. I played on ColecoVision. Um, I had a Coleco. I had I had the combo. It was a Coleco. I think it was what what was it? Atari Coleco or something? There was like a combo system. There were so many. There were so many right. be, be, before there were um, like the restrictions or whatever, like copyrights or patents or something. Atari. There were like several different types of Atari. Mm -hmm. So like I, I, I have, I have an actual Atari, Atari back behind me, and 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 a NES. But the Nintendos, you, Nintendos were only Nintendo until like the age of emulator, right? Mm -hmm. But um, but like I, you said like Generation X. It's funny because like. I was born in 82. So like you I'm were like a millennial. Well, yes, but you it's were, very close. It's very close because but you it's were very close. you were graduated in the year 2000, right? Yes. So you are millennial. So that's like the the easy cutoff of like were you did you graduate in the year 2000? Yes, then you are you, you I literally graduated but, the year 2000 though. Right, not not yes. So you are, yes. but so you, but you are much more embedded than into the Nintendo era. Like yeah, the Nintendo absolutely. era. I grew is... up. I grew up. I grew up with. So I grew up with a NES, and but most more so a Sega Master System, mm. which is not something that people Sega talk Masters, about. Sega I played the fuck out of my mom got so, me before I got a Nintendo. I got a Sega Master Systems from my mother, mm -hmm. and the funny thing was is that the cartridges wow. were the same. Or did you ever get the Sega thirty-two bit? <clears throat> yes, yeah, I had so, uh, Transbot could... was one of my favorite games. The little, there was little, it was a little like card you put in the front. Or I'm talking about, I'm gonna be talking about something else. No, Sega. Uh, <laughs> so it was a 32-bit that you put on top as a cartridge, and then it would take new cartridges, and they were the same type of cartridge as uh, Sega Master System. Um, so you could play all these oh. super old school games as well as no, these new school games that they came. I didn't go with. that far, but. Right, I did Sega Genesis, um, the CD ROM. There was Sega that CD. One. The Sega CD that one was I had. huge. I I had that for years. I I thought I still had it, but it 
it went someplace. I think my wife chucked it, but <laughs> that was cool. There was a, a couple of games on that I really loved, like playing. So they had a Dungeons and Dragons game that was pretty cool, and yeah, the, that was so another one called Future Shock or something like that. Yeah, some of my track. favorite Sega Sega Master yeah, System games were like um, Space Harrier. That was a really good one, um, and uh, um, Astro Warrior. I know that there was one where you did. It was like you you were a uh, spaceship, and then you shot like out turrets and stuff like that. It was very similar to you know like asteroids slash you know like you know spaceships. It other could be like Astro that. Warrior, but it could be Astro Warrior, but yeah, I, it's been cool. a long time. Uh, but yeah, but so... uh, but yeah, Sega Master System. So my dad would bring home like every weekend he would bring home a new game for the sega master system that's what it felt like i'm sure it was it wasn't always every weekend but like um and i had with so many fun games on on that on that system um and then eventually got an s and um i feel like one of my favorite games on the NES uh was uh i don't know if you ever heard of pinball quest uh, yeah yeah i've heard of that Pinball Quest was this like pinball RPG game on uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, and it was it was awesome. Um, and and I, I I grew up with pinball. Like we had a <clears throat> we had a um, a pizzeria that was like a block away from my house, and it was called Mario's, which of course <laughs> is awesome. Course, sure. And um, they had they had a um, a pinball. The only pinball they had was a the Firehouse pinball. Uh, I hadn't seen that again until like my late 30s i think at the pinball museum but that was also where i got really good at um soul caliber because they had a soul caliber machine um but yeah i mean i, I don't even what were we talking about like what we got on this long <laughs> tangent about some like uh, retro games call from... me old well, and then we I started mean, we talking got... about old yes games stuff. yes you are old, yes. <laughs> Got it. That's I am. what we're saying. And before that, we were talking about old school arcades and stuff like that, like going to the mm -hmm. Iowa bar and stuff, so getting to see these old school quarter-fed yeah. games. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing. Uh, but bring it back into EVE. Um, yeah, we're going to be seeing some uh, good pushes from the Galente. Um, you know, there's we're all bottled up in one area right now. Um, even though the, the front lines have fallen back a little bit further, um, just gotta shake that bottle and just yeah, go. We're just gonna be pushing it, and uh, and you know, as they compress us down, they're just gonna see us uh, burst out even better. Um, yeah, we can't take back systems if we don't give them up. So this is all just part of the strategy. Yeah, you know, right? Fall back, punch them in the face. You know, and then they do have, you know, a million fucking farmers. So, you know, we just got to go and hunt farmers more. And so we're going to see some more of that. So you're going to see me um, this week. I'm going to try and put out some good amount of streaming, um, you know, backing up this, uh, you know, May the 4th be with us event that we're going to be holding. Um, and next year we won't be able to be holding it around the same time. We might go out to like August or something like that. Um, yeah, well, that's but because we'll definitely we're going to be in next. Iceland. Because <laughs> yeah. we'll be in Iceland. Because <laughs> yeah, we'll be in Iceland on May, uh, May, May 4th-ish, like right around that yeah. time, isn't is it? So we don't want to stack that up, but um, but yeah, things are going pretty well. We're going to get everything on out and, you know, just come and join freedom. You know, if you want to fight for freedom for real, you know, if you want to be part of corporate overlord asinine bitches like go to the Keldari you know go make your money by being a slave but if you want to be you want to feel real experience of freedom and uh, how to bring democracy to the land come on over to the Federation Frontline Report here over and, here uh, the Federation know, uh, Frontline Report we only drink liberty liberty Ah, it tastes like freedom. Oh, oh yeah. Freedom is so good. <laughs> so, uh, anything else Eagle that anybody sweat. wants to talk about before we wrap things up? I know that there is some, uh, 
stuff that CCP's putting out in expansion pretty soon. Seems like there's some upwell structures, some 0.0, .0 structures that are being made. Anybody got any uh, reporting that you'd like to do on that? Well, we talked. Uh, well, we talked about the upwell structures a couple weeks ago and brought it up a little a few minutes ago. But um, if you remember the Iceland trip and uh, when we did a breakdown, we we spoke with Aurora and she brought up the whole going out in a null spec that uh, they had done all they're going to do with uh, low sec for the most part at this point. And so, yeah, it's time to give them some love out there and give uh, you know massage some of the stuff out. In no sec, it needs it. It needs it, and then wormholes or something. I don't know. But yeah, you know, they're they're trying to do the gambit. They're trying to hit everybody's uh, gameplay and see if they can make it better. Uh, I just think it's funny how this game, more than like any other, like you have like two sides. You have guys like, hey, this PI expansion and way to take Sav in no sec is going to be fantastic. This is great. It's going to be a game changer. It's going to be so much fun. We're going to have activity. We're going to be able to do battles. And then you have the other side that's like a hundred percent. This game's broken. They are doing everything they can to destroy this game and, and keep us from playing it. So, um, it, it just makes me laugh. But uh, I, th I think it's going to be fine. Again, you got uh, people in Nullsec, you got those big blocks. They're always just looking for something else to do. They want to make money. They want to have fights. And so, I think the CCP is giving them now the opportunity to do that. Like, hey, here's some PI stuff you can get. Uh, it will give you uh, the things you need to build the ships that you need to do to do the battles, but people are going to want to fight you for it. So it seems to be pretty uh, super cool to me. That so I uh, I don't again we don't do a whole lot in Nullsec. Um, you know Nightflyer does with uh, Noir and Tepus Kelsif, but uh, not a whole lot right now. <laughs> so we're doing a lot more wormhole stuff or uh, the the, the Garista faction warfare stuff. So. I'm actually not in all no much. You guys do anything in all recently? Just uh, no, I actually. Like, yeah, I haven't through. been on yeah. Spectre oh. League well. But yeah, they go out a lot. In, yeah, you know. but that's and again, that's gate camping and shooting, and nobody's trying to take you know sob or defend territory or any of that stuff. So, which to me, I I don't know. Like the again, not my gameplay. That you got going, Samson. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so a couple of other things going on. I brought Tempest Kelsey. I want to tip my hat to them. Um, made the top 12, rank 7 in the Anger Game 6, which just wrapped up today. And, of course, uh, if you haven't heard, the uh, No Spaceships for Old Men took first place, beating out Spooky. Yeah, it was a great man. <laughs> At long distance. So it was a good fight. Okay, um, those are some, again, it was, I, as these things normally break down to, um, it, it ships call it's it's the what what you're fielding uh, really made the difference for these teams so but good pilots out there also i don't want to take that away from them these are good pilots out there these guys know what they're doing so uh congrats to everybody that took part in anger games so i know it's a lot of work for you guys yeah Anger games was really cool i i have they did good reporting on it they had good uh visuals and stuff and you know it feels like another alliance tournament now which is kind of cool. Yeah. And another tip of the hat to uh, the, the frigate free-for-all that was last weekend. Um, Rick Javik, Stay Frosty, and Lucifer's Hammer. Uh, putting that together, 13,000 ships were blown up in the period of six hours. Um, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I, I think I had 75 kills. Yeah, 75 kills with 50 losses, so a, uh, a two-to-one or something like that. Three, three to two ratio <laughs> however that works out but it was a lot of fun um there were the uh the smart bombers and stuff in system uh i, I was uh, oh, stuff. snuff yeah snuff came through and did what they did which is try to ruin everybody else's fun but hey that's their game that's what they like doing so nobody you know, donated a carrier for me to smart bomb people and so i didn't do it no, CC, the, a lot of the CCP devs were out in system too. Um, I didn't get yeah, in on any year of I got I don't think so. This year I did not. Mm -hmm. I was yeah, yeah, like, that's that's that fleet was we were both send up. a fleet in, and they didn't, they ended up never sending anything. Yeah, what a miscommunication there, there was on that one because then Varian put out a fleet like right like an hour into it or something. <laughs> so everybody showed yeah. up thinking they were coming to the friggin' free for all. Varian's like, no, it's like in an hour we're heading out someplace else. So. Uh, yeah, so everybody from Spectrefleet got diverted, but, um, 
I was listening to them. I was on their comms for a little bit because I didn't get into any fleets in uh, the friggin' feed for all. But ah, it was fun. I think so. I was listening to Spectre Fleet. You guys sound like you had a good time. Yeah, we had we had mm -hmm. we came over for a little bit and shot at stuff, but wasn't able to kill anything, so we ended up leaving. <laughs> and my final tip of the hat uh, is to Furlow and his group who put out the uh, the Navy Destroyer metagame book. I don't know if you guys have had a chance to read this. It's oh, like yeah, a I read 20... a little bit of this. Yeah, it was yeah it's like a 23-page book. Yeah, it's on Reddit. He put it out there. Uh, it's also on the CCP if you go on their um, uh, their news feed. And what It's just a breakdown of the destroyers. They People have done the Frigate one in the past, the Frigate yeah. Bible, which you know gives you a lot of useful information. Uh, hey, what's meta in the game right now? What's working? Um, if I'm going to fly the ship, how, what's a good fit for it? And they broke down destroyers, and specifically destroyers to use in faction warfare. So you, if you said, hey, you know, I, I want to get into faction warfare. I don't know what to fly. Um, destroyers are, you know, a good ship because you're good for frigates. You get enough of them together. You're good against uh, the cruisers. So they broke it all down. Hey, this is the catalyst, and these are some fits that you can do, and these are the advantages of each one. Uh, the catalyst has, like, four different fits in there. Um, do they have a rail fit? Or are they all blaster? Um, no, they do have a rail fit also, so it's not just blaster fits. So two rails, two blasters. They got you know the coercer, uh, the navy issues, uh, thrasher fleet, of course. Got to have thrashers. So uh, it's a good read if you're just looking for ideas of uh, fitting up ships or what doing. I I think the the three of us have been flying these ships for quite some time I, i'm not seeing anything that's like oh i never thought to put i don't know a nos on or something it's all <laughs> pretty oh, straightforward no, no. <laughs> that's a great so, idea yeah people do put it that at the newbie level at for sure though yeah but it is nice like that because they did bring out the one thing here and i i um uh, saw this which one oh, on the cormorant navy issue and they put a uh pithom c type and i'm like you like for the the medium shield booster and I'm like, yeah, you don't, again, they're not that much more expensive. Sometimes they're cheaper than tech two, depending on where you're at. Um, so again, it's just an idea of something. If I want to put together, you know, a couple of these Cormorant Navy issues, something that you can throw on there. They got a 10 mm fit that uh, throw it on. And again, their ideas, it's there. But uh, thank you to Furlough and all the people that were involved putting that together. Appreciate it. And that's all I have to say about that. That's it. That's and so I think we'll go ahead and wrap things on up here. We'll make a little bit of a shorter episode here, though. But uh, thanks for everybody for tuning on in. Thanks for everybody, um, you know, that's uh, out there fighting us in the uh, great faction war that's happening, and everybody that's fighting with us. So join the side of democracy is what I gotta say, and uh, have a great night. Good night, everybody. Good night, New Eden. <laughs>